Hello. Today we're going to be looking at uh, encrypting partitions. Now to do this you are going to have to format the partitions so you'll lose any data on it. So back up anything you need. You can copy it back after we repartition and uh, encrypt the drive. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stick this flash drive into my USB port here. Get in there. That'd be good if I put it in the right way. Okay. Now, this partition, this uh, flash drive partition is already formatted. And as you can see here, it asks for a password. Uh, and I would type in my password and hit connect, and it would mount that partition should she be right there. Okay. Uh, so let's pretend it's not uh, encrypted, and we're going to format and encrypt the drive. First thing we have to do is find out which drive that is. I'm going to go mount. And I know that it's this one right here. It says that it's using Lux encryption here. Um, and this is the device right here. So I am going to sudo U mount to unmount. And I'm going to say the device where it's mounted. And so now that device is unmounted, you can see it's gone from my desktop here. Now, <clears throat> all we have to do is uh, basically use a command and you have to be root or sudo. So we're going to say sudo lux format. And we're going to make it the type, we'll just go ext3. And then we want to say the, the partition, the device and the partition, and in this case, I want to see, let's see, I am almost positive that it's SDI1, uh, although I do want to be sure, so let's look through up here. I definitely don't want to delete this one, it says local disk, that's my backup hard drive, that's H1, and I know A and B are my internal hard drives, and G, what else do I have here? Oh, G would be probably my hard drive, my camera with a hard drive. So let's see. Yeah, it's a VFAT. That's going to be that one. So I've narrowed it down, and I know that on my machine, my flash drive is SDI, and the partition is 1. Um, so just figure out what yours is based on your information from mount up here. Just make sure you don't format the wrong drive. Uh, and uh, as I said, it has to be unmounted, so you should be okay if, if you have other drives mounted uh, and you try to do them, it will tell you, sorry, you have to unmount this drive first. Uh, and if it's not mounted, maybe unplug it just to be sure. So at this point, I just hit enter. Normally, it asks for my password for sudo. I've already typed that in just a few minutes ago, so no worries about that. Now it's saying that... Uh, we're going to override everything on this drive. Are you sure? And to make sure you don't just hit Y or type yes, you have to type yes in all capitals to continue, just to make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, now it's asking for a passphrase, and I'll just use metal, and it asks you to verify it. Type metal. And obviously, I typed it wrong at one of those two times. So let's try it again. Is case sensitive? Looks like it's working. There we go. Uh, I've gotten this, this error before. Device or resource busy. I uh, don't know what that's all about, but that's normal for me, so don't worry about it. And we'll type in the passphrase one more time just to make sure you typed it right. And now it's formatting the drive as an encrypted drive. Now, uh, Lux and Lux format, I am pretty sure, is pretty standard on any major distro. And uh, I think uh, it might even be built into the kernel. So when you plug this into any Linux machine, uh, it should ask for the password to mount it. Uh, I do not know if Lux works on Mac or Windows. I would not be surprised if it does, but you probably have to install something special. Regardless, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you're using the device for. Obviously, if you're encrypting it, you're trying to hide it, and if it doesn't work on a Windows or Mac machine, all that much better. 
Uh, so it's all done. It's formatted. It's it's uh, encrypted. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the drive out, and then I'm going to plug it back in. And I should get a little pop-up message here. There we go. It's going to ask for my password. You can say forget immediately, store this password until I log out, or remember forever. That's just on this machine. I'll type in metal, and I'll type it correctly. And the drive should mount and should show up right here. Give it a second. Oh, it says... Okay, let's let's uh, let's try this again. There we go. I don't know what happened that first time. Something went wrong, but there we go. It's mounted. You can see it on my desktop here, and it is encrypted. Anything you put in here will be unreadable by any machine unless they have your passphrase. So make sure you pick a secure passphrase because brute forcing is always a possibility. Um, so if someone gets your device and you're using something like the word metal, they could just run a password list on there and get that pretty fast. Um, so make sure you use something complicated. And uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you find this useful and I hope you visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. I chat with us on IRC on Freenode. Uh, the channel is Films by Chris. If you don't have a IRC client, go ahead and go to filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. That's all lowercase. And also visit our forums at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Have a great day and thanks for watching.